Welcome to Case Cloud Mobile Device Manager. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the product and walk you through some of its key features and functions. At the end, I'll share contact details for additional learning, subscribing, and staying connected. Case Cloud MDM is a subscription based SaaS application that's licensed by the number of devices a company wishes to manage. It lets you inventory, manage, and secure mobile devices on your network, as well as supplying single pane of glass management for both mobile and desktop devices when you integrate Case Cloud MDM with the Case Systems Management Appliance. Once you've started a trial or purchased a subscription, you can sign into the product portal here to manage your users and devices. The main navigation of the product portal includes users, devices, libraries, and settings. Over here you have access to the Help Center, your notifications, and your user status. In the Users and Devices sections, you'll find detailed filter options in the left panel that will help speed up the search for specific devices across several criteria, all shown here. We also offer the ability to set labels and smart labels, helpful tools that can further help you manage your devices efficiently. By way of an example, let's say I'm looking for only devices that are enrolled, company owned, and supervised. As you can see, those filters help cut the search task down pretty quickly. When you select a device, over in the right hand column, you'll see that you can manage this list of settings. Under General, you can see all of the device's details, including the user it's assigned to, hardware, networking, security, and more. For each of these settings, depending on the status of the device or limitations of the setting, an admin can view, edit, remove, or add. I'll illustrate some functions in the Apps section. You can see which apps are already installed on the device. You can also add a new app from the library, import from a store, or upload from your own machine. Let's add this app to the device from the library. Click Install on Device. Assign it directly to device. Now when we choose the app which has been added to the device, we can view details, or even remove it. You can also plan ahead to apply auto deployment settings for all devices enrolled in the future. In this particular list, the icons show us which apps are enabled for managed configuration, each particular operating system, whether it's set up for automatic installation on new devices, and whether or not it's been saved to the library for future use. And while this app continues to officially upload, I'll talk a bit more about libraries. This is the library landing page where you can manage or create configurations that can be applied to enrolled devices. You can create and manage accounts, apps, certificates, profiles, Wi-Fi, VPN, restrictions, and passcodes. As an example, under accounts, you can see which email accounts have already been set up. You can edit the configuration for an email account, or even delete it. You can also add new accounts. And if you're doing a batch of configurations, you can easily navigate to the other libraries over here on the left. Now I'll walk you through the minimum setup requirements for new subscribers to Case Cloud MDM. Once signed into the admin portal, an admin will get started by creating new user accounts and assigning roles to those users. So under Users, Create New Users, This is also your first chance to assign user roles. Every user is automatically given the device user role, which is required for successful enrollment. And there are also device admin and system admin roles. For details on what's included in each type of user role, 
you can visit our Role Management section and Documentation, accessible here. Next, an admin can initiate enrollment for iOS and Android devices. From the Devices section, click Enroll Device. To initiate enrollment, a device admin will provide an enrollment URL by email or text to the device end user. There are unique instructions for iOS users and Android users. You can copy the URL only or copy a full set of instructions to help guide your end user through setup. The end user opens the link then follows the prompts on their device to complete enrollment. An admin can monitor enrollment status of all devices using the Filter section. If you want to know which devices are still unenrolled, you'll check the Unenrolled filter. This icon will also tell you at a glance which devices are unenrolled. You can use as many criteria as you like to see whatever grouping of devices or users you like. You can also save those settings for future searches by using labels and smart labels. Next, an admin will want to set up any default policies for configurations like email accounts, apps, certificates, profiles, passcodes, restrictions, VPN, or Wi-Fi. With user accounts created, the device enrollment process initiated, and default policies set, Case Cloud MDM will be set up and ready to manage users and devices. An admin can then move on to setting up optional configurations. CaseCloud offers several optional configurations that are managed here in the Settings section, such as single sign-on to allow users one set of login credentials, integrating with the Case Systems Management Appliance to enable management of all desktop and mobile devices in one place, setting up the device enrollment program for Apple to help automate enrollment and supervision of iOS devices, as well as the Apple Volume Purchase Program to allow volume purchasing of apps for distribution on iOS devices. Once you've started your trial or purchased a subscription, you can find step-by-step -step instructions for setup and management in our Help Center, accessible from the admin portal and as a freestanding website. It has an easy-to-use search feature, as well as our Getting Started and Admin Guides. We also offer how-to videos for all major features and additional support resources like release notes, system status, our IT Ninja community, and our feedback feature. This has been a product overview for Case Cloud Mobile Device Manager. We hope it was helpful. To view documentation, visit docs.casecloud.com. If you're ready to subscribe or have additional product questions, visit us at support.quest.com and stay connected by following us on Twitter at Quest Experts.